Hi and welcome back. So uh, in the part before, we created a small missile which will be released after the main missile will be launched. And in this part, I would like to focus uh, on the clamping mechanism and electronics which will be holding the missiles. So I told before that I would like to have four of them. And also, I was checking some reference pictures according to my model and find out that this part here it's a bit useless there and actually the mechanism which uh, should release that should be from top to the bottom not like this anyway uh, it will be actually hard to make here anything and I'm a bit afraid that it will be looking also very very strange so what I will do I will redesign this absolutely uh, so far uh, we didn't did anything uh, expect this one here so what I will do I will just delete it and cap the holes so select the polys grow that delete select this one cap uh, this one opposite cap and the holes are done now uh, I will make probably the missile a bit longer so what I will do I will just select this here and move it to the front and this here and move it to the back still there will be some kind of a gap but <coughs> generally it will be uh, that is longer so I can do uh, one clamping here one in the back it's probably somewhere here because here we don't have the place maybe yes I don't know and one in the middle so We'll zoom on this, the name shield, and move this as well. So it should be somewhere here, I guess. Now uh, I can move the rocket away, and we can start to make the pillars on which will be the mechanism. So I will do it from a simple box. On the top view, we'll just make something like this. Doesn't matter, actually. Uh, how big it will be. We'll go to grey and rename this to missile. Small, actually, we don't have to call it small clamping. Let's call it clamping. I'll convert this to poly. <coughs> now I will try to adjust the height and everything. So I will move this to the top. So right here and Let's look. Top view. Yeah, probably this this dimension is fine. About the thickness here, we can adjust this a bit later. So so, uh, so, so far, uh, we'll just work with this. And anyway, we'll see in a while how it will look. So here, uh, I will do the top, which will be connecting this and the bottom. So what I will do here is I will select the top edge, ring that, and connect. I will select this and this. Only from the left view, be better to do. Now I will hit extrude, small one. Oh, maybe, why not? Somewhere, somewhere here. I will uh, hit there by polygon. That means that now between uh, this polygon in the inside and this one inside, we have a gap. Even that we can see that. So I'll select one of these, move it, and also third one. <coughs> now, how far from each other they should be? Okay, maybe like this. It's quite fine. Now, let's say uh, this is fine, just to be sure that this one here is the same like there just delete that and make quick a mirror of these shapes you see I'm sure that this one and this one are the same now zoom on the shape select this edge oops on time this edge here and we we will move it up. Let's say somewhere here. Uh, 
Ah, oh, no, it's a bad, bad idea. Let's go back one more time. Yeah, first the chamfer. Oh, better. Let's try to do the biggest one we can. It's this, and we will do multiple chamfers there. To make a uh, <coughs> shape which is around here uh, and divide these two. So, very simple so far. Okay, let's move this a bit down. And here, just to be sure, local normal, we'll do something like this. And that's it. So, this will be the epsilon, which will be clamped here and at the bottom. Okay, so when we have this, uh, I will do another copy in this axis, move it a bit down, attach oops, to this one, let's go to poly, select this and this, okay, one more time, that one, yeah, it's selected there and there. Let's hit bridge. Now this looks a bit strange. Yeah, <coughs> that was there was a small issue. Oops, a bit too much. The police, anyway. Uh, no problem for us. Uh, again, place it here. Hit the weld, and we are done. But connecting these two together. Uh, loop this edge, delete, delete this one. So <coughs> we have here these two uh, opposite shapes there, and now we need to adjust the height to them and the position, of course. So let's say this one will be somewhere here. Now the clamping for this part will be here. So place it exactly here. We'll select the half of that and make it something like that. Now, oh, yeah, here is one more word. Shouldn't be there. I can delete that, so... so this was a bit strange. Anyway, uh, I can keep that there. Anyway, don't make... Okay, I don't know why it's flipped. Okay, let's one more time flip. So this flip. Hmm, strange. I'm not going to find or to search why. <coughs> okay, so uh, we have this one. Now, one more time. Just check if everything is fine with the shape. Yeah, it looks actually yes. Don't understand uh, why I can't delete the vert one in the middle, which is there. And it's frustrating me. So what I will do? I'll select these edges, connect two times. Doesn't matter actually how it will connect. It can be. Uh, like this, or all the all the X to that. Select, delete this, delete that, and cap this back. And okay, now I'm happy. Okay, so the height of this. Uh, no, from the front view. I'll select this. And move it up right here, and also this one. And move this somewhere right here on top view. One more time, I think I was moving it and forgot to move also the another part. Okay, just a few mistakes, 
nothing hard. Well, nothing tragic. So it should be here. <coughs> now as you can see it's a bit bigger. Which is not a problem to fix, of course. So the scale tool and just scale it two times. I think it was just two times. And the same to here. Back to the top view. Move it a bit and now it should be fine. Yeah, it is. <coughs> okay. So again, here's the shape uh, on which or between which will be the clamping mechanism, which we will adjust. And uh, the mechanism there should be connected by screws or holes. Uh, to be able to make them, we need to adjust a bit the height of this. Now, this I will do using the rocket here. So, let's copy that. Let's say there will be like this. This side and two on the other side. So, very quickly done. <coughs> okay, now let's go to the left view. We'll select here one screw which I will use. Copy that. Now make it zero zero zero. Affect the power of the center. Rotate by ninety degrees. From the front view, we'll just adjust where it should be. Back to the left view. Uh, you can also make it a bit bigger if you want. And let's say. Okay, let's say here and here will be two. Something something similar here at the bottom. <coughs> and also here in the center. But oops, I forgot to copy one more time. So here, copy. Let's say here and uh, probably a bit, a bit higher. So here and here. So like this, there will be the screws which, or with which, uh, between them will be something. Okay. So if we have this, you can also do the holes, but I don't see there any uh, reason to do that. Uh, we can finally chamfer this sh uh, shape. So if you are happy with uh, what we did, uh, what. So we can do the chamfer, uh, how and where, uh, I will select these two and these two at the bottom. To be honest, I think they are not the same. <coughs> yeah, they are not. So again, I need to adjust this a bit. Okay, now they should be equal. They are better. Okay, so one more time the chamfer. So if we select the, the top at the bottom, hold on Control Edge. Zoom on that a bit just to see what we are doing. Let's do the chamfer. Let's say something like this. Now we'll select these edges, all of them, so the loop should do the work for us. Also here. <coughs> Again the same cham chamfer and actually this should be enough. Just to do this. Okay. 
Uh, now, because uh, I don't really want to attach this curves uh, to the shape, and I need to do a copy of this. What I will do, I will select all of them, group. Can do a mirror. Uh, bad axis. This axis here. So we have the same here and there. <coughs> I will adjust the position a bit. So let's say it will be here. And from the top view, a better perspective, we'll select both of them and move it. I'll move them back to, to their place. It should be somewhere here. Okay, anyway, I think we will adjust a bit some properties uh, a bit later. Now, I will copy them. Uh, somewhere here should be again a copy, and somewhere here. Maybe from the front view I will see a bit better. So, somewhere here, and this one is fine. So, if we have copied everything, I will ungroup also everything. And now, uh, as you can see, <coughs> now the proportions are a bit bad. They are bad, but only on these things at the bottom. So what I can do here, I can attach these together. I can just select this and just move it down. The same I can do here and the same on the shapes. And still uh, we can move them from each other, so don't worry about that. Here should be work the element function, so as you can see no problem for us. Okay, I think. By the way, uh, <coughs> if you think I'm a bit, uh, I don't know, uh, better doing the things a bit too fast or making quite small mistakes, which I usually don't do. It's a bit. Uh, it's. I think it's from the hot weather, which is here. I'm dying from that. So I'm sorry for that in advance. But anyway, uh, I'm not remodeling so much or something. So I think uh, you can forgive me this for for this time. Okay. So we have all four, or better, all six in in the place. Uh, if you want, if you really want, <coughs> it's not necessary. You can move this to the middle, you know, to keep some kind of the same distance between them. But this will mean that this part in the middle should be moved. So it's up to you. Probably it will be looking a bit better. So we can try that just very quickly. I will move it a bit here. It should be almost here. Yeah, probably it will be looking better. What I'm doing that is, uh, if I don't move it right now, I probably don't move it at all. So, but of course you can keep that. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, Trevocket, uh, you can, you don't have to be added. This could be moved, but it's not necessary here. Okay, so. Yeah, it's already looking so like something. <coughs> yeah, it's quite nice. Okay, let's go for the clamping. I mean, uh, I would like to do in this part as much as I can, but if I will do this kind of small mistakes more and more, uh, I'll probably stop in some point. Don't get me wrong, I would like really to continue and finish everything, but it's really not easy to do, and on the other hand, I really don't want to do these mistakes. And of course, I don't want to uh, really record this. You have to understand it takes some time. Okay, so let's go to for the tube. I'll make here a tube. Actually, it doesn't matter how big. Now, from the pool. Okay, this is a bit meta. Now, from the perspective, let's rotate that. 90 degrees, 
move this up. So this ring here, probably from the left view, we'll see it a bit better. Should hold this. Oops. So let's go to the align tool. We'll align this. Probably jumped to the middle, which is fine. But also to the center. Back to the left view. Now, uh, the radius 2. This was too much. Okay, it should be absolutely like this. This could be after a bit smaller. And of course, we can place here a bit more edges to make it more smooth. Anyway, I don't want again apply here any jobless modifier. I don't know if I told it before, but really, I don't want. Okay. Okay, it's great fitting inside our shape. And also fitting here. Okay, let's rename that. Missile clamping claws. Let's change the color. I hate this green. Really. I don't know, I'm living only in the gray, probably you will say, but really. Yeah. This is a beautiful color. Okay, convert to poly. <coughs> now from top view, uh, we'll delete half of that. Maybe. Half or not, uh, I don't know. Wait. Yeah, I already deleted the half. Damn. Let's go one step back, sorry for that. <coughs> Thinking if to do or delete the half or yeah, something like this. Not uh, the half, uh, a bit less. Yeah, this is quite fine. Let's go to the left view. Uh, it's a bit interacting with the shape, but it's because it's not on the right place, so don't worry about that. So it should should be... No, it was on the right place, so I did it too small. It's quite funny. Doesn't matter much for us. Uh, anyway, we can a bit scale that if you want. If not, we don't have to. Anyway, uh, we'll cap the holes which we created. So that and that. <coughs> now, it's still aligned, so align that. Move it to the front. Mm, top view. Should be somewhere here. Perspective that to zoom on that. And let's see. Yeah, it's a bit interacting with the shape. True, true. Now here we have two options. Uh, to move one of the axes, or to uh, absolutely move it a bit. Hmm. Let's try something. Uh, we'll I will loop this edge. And I will make here a bit scaling. So something like this. Oops. Now move it back without moving everything. Yeah, now it's fine. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, if it don't look so bad at all, I will do also a bit uh, small changes there to the shape. That means that I will do just few chamfers. Okay. Okay, now it's fine for me. I hope also for you. So I'll select this and this, and this and this, and let's do a chamfer there. Make that uh, a bit around. Now we'll select the edges here and also here on the top. Cannot loop 
I hate when I cannot loop. So when you cannot loop, you have to select everything manually. Which I think is something you don't do very happy like me. Or you can select everything like this and just by holding gold deselect that. So two options. It's up to you what you will choose. Okay, let's zoom on that again. I need to deselect this. This, this. So we selected everything very fast, but also selected to that something which I don't want. Uh, we could, of course, uh, chamfer also that, but for what reason? I don't know. So, really, if you don't want something to be chamfered, don't chamfer that. Okay, one more time. Let's do the chamfer, probably a bit bigger double chamfer. And I st still have here something wrong selected. Uh, is this, yeah. Okay. I was talking about this actually, you know, making mistakes and so on. Okay, I will select it differently, just to be sure that I will also, uh, uh, I really select everything. I also f forgot that I moved the, this shape here, so... Okay. Hold on, control, select this. So, that just should be selected. Also this here, on the top. Yep. And let's do it also here. So, I never thought that one chamfer will take us so much time. Yep. Okay, I will not do it. Oops, double chamfer, just one. <coughs> okay, now this shape should go straight in the middle between uh, claws or clamping. So this should be the claws, this should be the clamping here, somewhere here. A bit more deeper. And between this should be something which is holding this. How to explain? Oh, I will I will show you. Uh, let's do a mirror of this. Again a copy. And what axis? Epsilon Z. Yeah, Epsilon. Move it. Move it somewhere here. Attach it together. So like this. And also this. Make a bridge. And it's done. Quite simple. Now, let's adjust the dimension of this. So, this should be here. Let's select uh, vert mode. Do something like this, rotating a bit. Hope I selected this. No, wrong. I need to select the shape. Oops, or the words somewhere here until there. Yeah, now I'm fine. And now trying to adjust the size. So at the end we will have something like this. Cool, huh? Okay. So here is the top. Hold down shift. Move it down. Here is the bottom. The size uh, don't change. It's our advant advantage here. <coughs> okay, so first clamping already looking much better than before at the beginning, even with the small mistakes I do. Uh, okay, uh, again, hold on, shift, and now let's let's look. It will be a very funny. It will ah uh, yeah. It's not funny already. I need to clamp this one here. So as you can see, it's too small. 
it's too small but probably using the famous scale tool we will be able to scale this until we'll fit. So what I will do here uh, is again I will line this to this shape. Uh, you could play with that a bit to achieve the right settings that it will not move everything like by me. And probably I will do or move it somewhere here. Now in perspective view I will look. Yeah. It should be somewhere here probably. Um, the scaling should be performed just in one axis. Yeah, to get something like this, but still too small. Could actually move it a bit. And also, uh, we can or don't have to fit it absolutely. We could also move it a bit here. Now, yeah, I wanted to actually to move yeah somewhere here. So, <coughs> so still too small. Oops. So left view. That. Yeah, I think this should work just a bit more. Anyway, I don't like much the scaling here, but because I forgot to preserve that shape before, I have to do that. So now it should be fine. So let's go to perspective and move also this back, back uh, clamps or <coughs> or claws. They could be also a bit bigger here, and we'll just by holding Shift, move this up. Cool. <coughs> okay, looking better and better. Now let's select our missile and look how it will be looking there. Okay, that's fine. I'm just a bit concerned that the wings will interact with each other. Oops, sorry. But I think this we can do by rotating the missiles. Ah, but it looks fine. It looks better than I thought at the beginning. Just to be honest. Okay, so we have the clamping here. Not looking so bad actually at the end. I'm happy that I looked uh, on uh, some kind of reference pictures which I found. It really helped me, as you can see. Okay, uh, now, uh, some kind of different uh, stuff on this. Uh, I don't know, some kind of electronics, I know. This is what I was trying to find. Really, I should make some, or I should rest a bit. Uh, okay, let's select these here, all these bodies. Hold on shift and move it away. We will clone this to an object. No name so far. Select that, I think the pilot is center. And now, in top view. I'll probably delete this. Select the border. Yeah, it, yeah, it deletes everything. My bad. A bit my bad, really. Um, okay, I'll make it a bit different. I will select this border, hold on, shift. Do this. Now I'll select this one and delete. So I want a straight shape, like the beginning. Now from the top view, I will delete few. Well, let's say until here. <coughs> Police there. And maybe more. Mm, 
Okay, this should be quite. Well, this should be quite enough. Maybe one more from each side. Delete top view. Set zoom. This is too much there. Okay, this will be my starting point. Now let's select that and that. So here uh, is the poly. Here is the flipped poly. Um, what I will do? Control A, extrude. I will extrude this somewhere here. I will scale this. And now I need to remade this. So I will select the border, deselect this top, and also this bottom. Hit the bridge, select this, and bridge also that. Control A, weld, just to be sure that everything is fine. Okay, this beauty, we can again affect the part of the center of the shape. Should be somewhere here. A bit more rotated, and I don't know, facing this, this somewhere here. Also. Okay. Okay, it should be here, absolutely. Z to zoom. So it's fine. Yep. There could there can be a small gap. Oops. Not not adjust that absolutely to that. <coughs> don't don't have no sense. Okay, now let's model this a bit more. Uh, it's a bit too big, so let's make it smaller. Uh, set to zoom in perspective view. Okay. Now selecting this back. I will extrude this to dimension like this probably. Now wait. I will a bit think a bit more about this. So I would like to have this here inside. Da -da 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 -da. I think this should be fine. So like that, now this oops. Look normal. Okay, this is way too big. It's a bit smaller. Okay, it's so something like this. Something like this so far. Turn to the uh, to the center pivot, and let's say it should be somewhere here. Here I would like to have something so uh, back to minus 90. And first I will try to shape the shape of that. And just after that uh, I will move. So just thinking. <coughs> So I'll select these ones and extrude. Extrude a bit. I'll extrude them somewhere here. Of course, without this, this. So one more time. Extrude this somewhere here. Should be quite fine for that. Now select these, connect times and from the left view I'll move them somewhere here 
Now to make this a bit uh, smoother, I'll just like this and these and apply a chamfer. Okay, we can do a double chamfer here. Now selecting this bottom, hmm, probably. Selecting this, we can do also from the left view by selecting everything here and deselecting everything here. Okay, we will insert this. Well, let's say like this and extrude this straight back by group. Okay, so we'll have here a space for something. Now let's do our cylinder from the top view. Now if you are uh, asking yourself what the hell I'm doing, you will see very soon. Hmm. From the left view, why not? Okay, just one. Oh, 24. Okay, let's go to 32. Try to adjust this a bit more. Okay, this is absolutely fine. Convert to poly. Okay, make this a bit, <coughs> a bit bigger. Oh, not bigger, but longer. Chat at the bottom. Multiple times, of course. I think I hit it two times the apply button. So one more time chamfer. OK. Now and set smaller value. Apply. OK. Select this loop. Move it up. This loop. Oops. Control edge. Oh I can't select that. Loop. And chamfer. I hope I'm not too fast on you. I'm sure not. I'm just asking to be uh, to be polite. Okay, move this somewhere here so uh, the shape will be looking like a container or something. <coughs> so something like this. Mm, okay. Something like this, not looking so bad. It don't should represent some kind of uh, pushed air together, you know, to release the stuff after. But still, we are not done. So I will do a few more, a few more things here, I think, and after that, I think I will stop. Anyway, I'm tired right now. I'm sorry for that. I'm really sorry for the small mistakes which I did <coughs> in this part. I really, I was a bit, you know, I was waiting to finish this, and if you wait, uh, and for so long like me, uh, you do some mistakes anyway. Uh, select. I should also select this to that. So now I'll do just few chamfers. Loop that should be. Looping until here. Yeah, it jumped here. So that I will chime for later. Probably also this. So I think I can apply the chime for. I will for this. I will just do one. Now I will chime for this. This is the most important chamfer so far uh, by this shape. Now we have this jumped here, but nobody will see the inside, so we don't have to do do anything. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so okay, so uh, oh, I forgot this one. Just few chamfers to that. Anyway, it will be a bit smaller there, so nobody will notice anything. And <coughs> I will continue. Oh, I will stop here and continue in the next part. So, uh, so far, thanks for watching. I hope again you will forgive me the few mistakes I did. Uh, it wasn't anything like tragic there, but anyway, I'm happy when you forgive me. So, uh, I hope you like so far. Uh, I hope you like how I changed this. Anyway, I was just following some kind of reference which I found, and I liked it quite more than my idea. So. This also cause that. And stay with me and I hope we'll finish this fast. In the next part I would like, I can tell this beforehand, because telling uh, don't screw anything. So in the next part I would like to finish this. I will also make here some kind of wires which will go from this somewhere, then probably here, or better, here. And go in the middle of this part and <coughs> watch the details which I have here. Then probably make a bit more. Anyway, I will see, and uh, you will see too. So, thanks for watching one more time, and I will see you in the next part. Bye bye.